Joe Resinell with the front line with Joe and Joe. Once again, let us go into the breach. Cardinal Mueller states that Pope Francis has the ability to change church teaching on the death penalty. Mueller declared that the change was possible because it is not a matter of divine revelation. For the record, Pope Francis in May of 2018 changed the language in the catechism. The number is 2267. Uh, basically, the catechism previously taught that the church does not exclude recourse to the death penalty if this is the only possible way to effectively defend human life against an unjust aggressor. Let me break that down in common language. What that means is this. Before Francis, the church left this much room for capital punishment. Why? Because say a country didn't have uh, an advanced prison system or say there was corruption and someone was a serial killer. They went to jail and they knew they were going to bribe their way out and they were a threat to society. The church was saying at that time, uh, in that instance, death, the death penalty could be used. But what now the Vatican is saying is more effective systems of detention have been developed which ensure the due process of citizens, but at the same time do not definitively definitively defy, uh, de deprive the guilty of the possibility of redemption. As Catholics, we believe in redemption. Now, there has to be punishment, but there's always a chance that people could repent. And if we are a people of life, womb to tomb, you cannot, you cannot before the death penalty. I live in America. We have an advanced system, uh, jail system. There is no reason why the death penalty should exist in America. If you say you're a people of life, that includes the death penalty. You go to jail and there has to be punishment. Absolutely, you should be in jail, but there's a chance that you will repent because we love people and we wish that all people go to heaven, especially the worst of the worst because Christ died for them too. You know, again, Cardinal Mueller is as solid as the day is long. And this comes down to a couple things. Obedience. You don't have to like Pope Francis, but he is the Pope. He is the Pope and he has the keys and he has authority. There's two ways to leave the church, the left door and the right door. But keep this in mind. You leave outside of the one or the other, you're out. You're out. And I always hear in traditional circles, because it's correct, there's no salvation outside of the Catholic Church. The catechism says this, salvation is found through our baptism and the church. And if there is no fault of your own that you're not Catholic, the church leaves hope for your salvation. That's the catechism put forth by a saint, John Paul II. Two miracles. Do we acknowledge him as a saint? He's a saint. If you don't acknowledge these basic truths, I got news for you. You better start praying about it because the church isn't ours. It's Christ's and the Pope, like him or not, has authority. Just also for the record, John Paul II's teaching said this. It said prudential judgment into uh, he basically said that making it clear that the circumstances in which the death penalty are legitimate are rare. This is John Paul II, a saint. By the way, Pope Benedict XVI said this, every effort to eliminate the death penalty, and he told Catholics that ending capital punishment was an essential part of conforming penal law both to the human dignity of prisoners and the effective maintenance of public order. So to be honest with you, this teaching is not that far from John Paul and, Be and Benedict XVI. Do we acknowledge them as Pope too? Keep this in mind. Once again, Cardinal Mueller said this, that because this is not a matter of divine revelation, Cardinal Mueller is a very learned man. And to be honest with you, if you ask me, he's above board on everything. And he said, Pope Francis has a right to change the catechism on the death penalty. You know why? Because he's the Pope. He's the Pope. And to be honest with you, like him or not, he is the Pope. And to be honest with you, if we live in a Western country, I live in America, I don't believe in capital punishment. You go to jail, you do something, there's punishment. I don't believe in revenge. Sorry. There's redemption. There's a possibility of redemption. Look at some saints who've gone to jail. Jock Fred, Fresh, 
from France. He was a murderer. He repented. He's on his way to become a saint. It's about time we start looking within our hearts. The church is not ours. It's Christ's. And there's a pope, like him or not. And we have to be obedient to the church. There's two ways to leave the church, the left door and the right door. Don't choose it. Stay in the ark of Peter. 